all right this is nifty and the daily chart as we discussed earlier that nifty are we expecting that nifty will stay in between this range so this is the range actual market range and we expecting that price will stay in between this range so here you can see lost the uh, few days prices in between this range have you seen so this is the actual market range so in that case we are using some put uh, sell trading strategy somewhere there stack price so we are expecting that price will expire above one three uh, let's say uh, seven zero and here you can see this is the actual market uh, range uh, this is the actual market range and we are expecting the price will close above 13,700 so we will collect the premium so you can say this is a sideway market so when sideway market we are focusing on a sell direction or we are applying iron condor so basically I am using here uh, we are focusing on a sell direction okay so we are collecting the premium and uh, let's see today top stocks top uh, gainer stocks first one here you can see this one upl mm, let's jump to here okay oh, first uh, upl let me take this one to here okay well, first uh, you see UPL so this one UPL okay and I can see uh, EPL are running an uptrend and uh, they are bouncing off some specific moving average have you seen the price create a new high so from here uh, create a new high pull back create a new high pull back and uh, create a new high so in that case we are not looking for buy anymore uh, we never know when price will give a correction all right so price uh, never goes like a straight line and always give a pullback like that all right so we are looking for exactly buy somewhere there after giving a pullback remember so most of the people are right now they are so exciting uh, to buy somewhere there but I am not uh, prefer to buy anymore in that area remember or oh, it may go up but uh, I leave this market all right we need a pullback and somewhere uh, there should be a supporting level so somewhere here you can see this one 50 or 20 supporting line somewhere there and if you want to draw previous swing point so here you can see this is a previous swing point and this is act as a support so this is the perfect entry point so most of the people are thinking then where is our entry point so in that case here you can see this is the swing point and the price stay above there like that and if price pull back that would be my buy opportunity and I will place different trading strategy all right so let's see another stock uh, I can say this one Gale okay you can say like Gale India all right uh, this one Gale okay exactly here we can see Gale also uh, price are running in an uptrend clear uptrend and uh, right now here you can see same condition bouncing up some specific level now creating a high and it may give a correction so I'm not interested to take any uh, buy position but most of the people are thinking hey can I go for short here then so when market is running an uptrend I'm looking for buy only uh, very simple logic buy in an uptrend when price give a correction so you can say buy deep in an uptrend okay so now we can see this area not called deep so we need a pullback that is called deep all right okay next uh, legend turbo okay legend turbo okay this one okay now here you can see this is the opportunity all right this is the opportunity here you can see here 
Preza uh, bouncing of specific moving average that is 20. Create a new high, pull back near 20. Create a new high, pull back near 20. So we are looking for buy. So let me show you here. And uh, let's just jump to H1 chart. So it should look like different, but here you can see, let me show you something. Uh, they are giving a, they are giving a correction. So in that case, I'm going to connect most touches point. So here you can see most touches point. Uh, somewhere there, this is the most touches point. And then finally here, here you can see price broke this area. So we have seen uh, a momentum candle bullish momentum candle and finally broke this uh, resistance why is it resistant so we have seen they are bouncing off bouncing off uh, bouncing off this line so finally they broke and we are expecting price will give a correction and we are looking for exactly buy after getting a buy confirmation it may be bullish candlestick pattern in a small time frame or uh, what uh, indicator you are using so according to uh, your indicator so you can apply buy so if you're not seeing a small time frame like uh, 15 minute or 5 minute whatever uh, you pay for okay now I can see here have you seen so right now here you can see let me okay now I can see if you want to see the price action method that was lower point price create a new lower low but price here you can see they are not able to break new low that previous level so almost same but finally price broke so they create a new higher high right now so we need a pullback and that would be our buy opportunity this is the leading in turbo and go to daily and let me remove this one okay next ONGC, all right. ONGC, okay, this one ONGC. <coughs> now here we can see price are overbought, so I'm not looking for this type of uh, uh, chart pattern. Uh, price are creating new high, and the price are too far from moving average. So in that case, we need a pullback. So who people are looking for buy? we have seen multiple rejection price hit and reverse act as a resistance in this area price hit and reverse break act as a resistance now finally price broke and we need a pullback so once price pull back when we need a bullish confirmation somewhere there so that would be our buy opportunity so most of the new traders are doing big mistake they're expecting that price will go up all right, they are exciting, more exciting at that time. So I'm not interested to take any position. Another uh, SBI uh, life. Let's just jump to SBI life. Okay, SBI. Mm, SBI life. Okay. So I think I'm not. Able to add this one SBI life, so I forget to add this one SBI. Mm. SBI life. No, leave it this one. Then another uh, HCL tag. HCL tag. This one. Okay, here we can see uh, the price clear uptrend. Yep. All right, now I can see clear uptrend. Uh, price are bouncing off some specific moving average. So how we know that and this is the clear uptrend? So here you can see price are creating a new higher high, higher low, higher high, and the higher low. And it is a probability to create a new higher high and if you want to see all moving average are arranging sequently this one 200 exponential moving average this is 150 exponential moving average this one 100 exponential moving average uh, another 50 and another 20 all right means all moving average are arranging sequently 
So in that case, you can see, and even if you want to see the price action method, they are creating higher high. So what is our rule? Buy deep in a uptrend. Now you can see uh, price create a new high, pull back. Price create a new high and pull back. So you can say this one deep. All right, deep in a uptrend. So in that area, we apply breakout trading strategy. So what is the breakout? So here I can see this one raise 10 line. Price hit and reverse back. Price multiple rejection, 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 pull back, and here. So we need a breakout. So once the once price break this level, definitely we'll go for buy. All right. So last one. Let's check it. Last one. Uh, IOC. 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 Okay, this one. All right, now I can see IOC are exactly near resistance line. So in that case, uh, I'm not interested to take any position. This is the resistance line, and this is the supporting line somewhere there. there. Sorry, uh, let me remove this one. Okay, now I can see this is the supporting line. Okay, actual market range is like that, like that like that and then like that and right now exactly there it is a probability to pull back to this level all right so once price breaks so definitely we'll go for buy but in this area we are not looking for buy anymore so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching